Hi there and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be continuing on with my small Born Pretty stamping plate haul that I recently purchased and I'll leave all the product information in the description box below and for these swatches I've used my usual mixture of stamping polishes along with my Starry Sky stamper and my small clear stamper. Before I get started don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help me out. So these two small square plates from Born Pretty are from the BPX range. So we have BPX 37 and BPX 38. They are really making some fantastic stamping plates and I've got lots and lots to share with you over the next few weeks. So make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notification on so you'll know when I upload. Also, if there's anything that you would like me to do in a video, making a money, using a particular nail tool that I have, just leave comments below and I'll see what I can do. BPX 37 is another geometry stamping plate and there is 21 images and they all range in size. I've just placed them over my black, silver, gold and rose gold pop sticks as I think these colours work really well with this type of plate. For this plate, I've only used my small clear stamper, and I personally wouldn't want to use any other type of stamper. Each of these designs are so full of amazing small detail. I did wonder if this could be a problem, but to be fair, I had no issues at all. This plate swatched really well. Everything picked up and transferred well. And I love how they've turned out. For me, this plate was really easy to work with and I can't wait to come up with another Manny. And with this Manny, I was swatching for a new UK indie brand. So I thought this plate would work be perfect. And all I did was take three images. The thumb and the middle finger is one image. The index and ring finger is another. And then finally, the one on my pinky is another one as well. And I really like this money. BPX38 is this daisy floral stamping plate. There is six large style images, and then there is four smaller images in the middle. And for this plate, I switched between my Starry Sky and my Clear Stamper. This plate sort of, for me, has like a 60s feel. For these swatches, I decided to use some gel colours that I recently swatched and reviewed that I purchased from Born Pretty. And these are the dark green, the baby pink and the caramel colours. You can find this video in my Born Pretty playlist, but hopefully this will show you what they're like to stamp over. And I think they're really pretty. And as you can see, this plate swatched really well. I'm not a huge floral fan, Say she who's just bought a good amount of them, but I think these images would look great with a bit of colour added in, with maybe some decals, or over some multicoloured backgrounds. I think they would look so pretty. For this money, again, it's from the UK Indie brand I've been swatching for, and as I felt that the plate was a little 60s, I decided to go for a 60s inspired Manny. I love this pink over the purple and I personally think these work really well together. So onto some live swatching and I'll just be taking some random swatches from each plate and I'll be using my XL Fabio Nails stamper and scraper, my Born Pretty Black stamping polish and I'll just be placing them onto my lint roller as I always do. BPX 37. For me this play is just so interesting. For my first swatch I'm going to be going for two of these small images and this I have to say is a good swatch. So I'll now go for another two of these small images. I do tend to get into quite a mess with these smaller plates but again this is a good swatch. I'll now go for a few of these lined images. I'm really looking forward to returning to this play very soon. There is so much detail in these images, but they have swatched really well. BPX 38. My first swatch is going to be this middle image. If you are a floral fan, I think you'll really like this play. These images are just full of detail and so pretty. 
and this is a good torch. I'll now go for two of these smaller images and they would make really cute little floral decals. And this is another good swatch. I've had no problems with these two stamping plates. They have worked beautifully. And for my final swatch, I'll go for one of these larger images. And I think this image is just amazing. And I see this as a full decal for a summer mani. And it's a really good swatch. So I hope that you've enjoyed my swatch and review on these two BPX range stamping plates from Warm Pretty. If you did then please give, it, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then I would love it if you could. And also don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram for Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye!